Roth, especially in the Muslim world, the question remains, if America is this vulnerable, is anyone safe? Geeta Guramurthy, BBC News. Now, more on the latest building collapse in New York. You might have heard a few moments ago was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing. And indeed it has. Apparently that's only a few hundred yards away from where the World Trade Center towers were. And it seems that this was not a result of a new attack. It was because the uh, building had been weakened uh, during uh, this morning's attacks. We'll probably find out more now about that from our correspondent, Jane Stanley. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. There's almost a sense downtown in uh, New York behind me, down by the World Trade Centers, of uh, just an area completely closed off as the rescue workers try to do their job. But this isn't the first building that um, has suffered as a result. We know that part of the Marriott Hotel next to the World Trade Center also collapsed as a result of this huge amount of falling debris from 110 floors of two, the two twin towers of the World Trade Center. As you can see behind me, the uh, Trade Center appears to be still burning. We see these huge clouds of smoke and ash, and we know that behind that there's an empty piece of what was a very familiar New York skyline, a symbol of the financial prosperity of this city, but uh, completely disappeared now. And Uh, and they made that decision to pull, and then we watched the building collapse.